My name is Corinne Sprague. I'm a partner in our business practice group at Warner Norcross and Judd. And my colleague Madeline Lane and I are going to talk a little bit about some corporate housekeeping tips for entrepreneurs within the cannabis industry. So one major advantage to forming a legal entity in the state of Michigan and in other states is that generally the owner of a corporation or an LLC should not have personal liability for the debts or other liabilities of your entity. So as long as you maintain good corporate housekeeping from both a legal and a financial perspective, the debts of your business should not be your personal debts and your personal assets should not be available to satisfy creditors of your business. To do that, we recommend that you work with your business attorney to make sure that your entity is set up and maintained well. So for a corporation, you need to file your articles of incorporation or articles of organization for an LLC. On the corporate side, you want to make sure that you're issuing stock and you maintain a ledger showing who has which stock certificates. You should elect a board of directors that oversees the operation of the entity, and those directors appoint officers. You'll also adopt bylaws initially, and then you'll hold annual meetings where the shareholder of the corporation or shareholders, if you have more than one, re-elect the directors or elect new directors. And you would maintain minutes of those meetings with your corporate records so that you can show that you've been respecting the legal form of the corporation. LLCs in Michigan and elsewhere are a little more flexible, but you still do need to file articles of organization so that your entity legally exists. And then you should work with your attorney to make sure that your management structure for your entity, whether it's manager managed or member managed, is consistent with what your articles say that it will be. And then Madeline will speak with you a little bit more about the financial aspects of housekeeping and how to make sure that your financial house is in order so that your personal assets and liabilities do not get mixed up with those of your business. I am Madeline Lane. I'm a partner in Warner Norcross and Judd's litigation and white collar criminal practice group. My colleague Corinne Sprague talked to you about the importance of following certain corporate formalities to make sure that a court cannot pierce through the corporate veil of an entity, meaning being able to get to the owner, member, or shareholder's assets in order to satisfy the creditors or debts of a corporation. But you also, in addition to those corporate formalities, need to make sure that you follow certain financial formalities. An entity under the law is actually a separate person. So it's important to keep in mind that it is a separate person from the owner or member or shareholder. So for that reason, you need to make sure to respect separate bank accounts. The corporation or LLC's bank account is not the owner's bank account. The bank account of the owner um, needs to be used to pay the owner's mortgage at the end of the month or car payment. You can't use the corporation or LLC's bank account to pay those kind of personal debts. Similarly, if you have a, a company credit card, you want to make sure that as an owner or shareholder, that you're using the company credit card only to pay for debts of the company rather than your vacation expenses or um, you know, going shopping with it for, for your wardrobe. You wanna make sure that company debts are paid for with company money and personal debts are paid for with your personal money. Additionally, you wanna make sure that the company is adequately capitalized. You want to make sure it has enough money in order to maintain business and pay its debts. And to the extent that the owner or shareholder is putting capital into the company, you want to make sure to keep track of how much that is and then how much in distributions those individuals are receiving. At the end of the day, the best advice that we can give you is to call your business attorney and go over all of this information. If you have any questions, they can answer it for you to make sure that you continue to enjoy the uh, protections of the corporate entity.